encounter has broken out between the security forces and terrorists in Shopia district of Jammu and Kashmir. Two terrorists have been neutralized in the encounter. According to sources, the terrorists were killed in retaliation after they opened fire at an army officers. The terrorists, in fact, have not been identified yet. Operation has been declared as over by the security forces. A day after Pakistani security agencies Harris guest at the Indian Commission iftar dinner in Islamabad, the High Commission has issued a statement condemning the intimidation of guests. Lodging a strong protest with the Pakistan government, the Indian High Commission has requested the Pakistan government to urgently investigate the harassment of guests and has demanded that diplomats and officials of the Indian High Commission be allowed to discharge their functions without fear or further harassment. India is in the grip of a severe heat wave as temperatures so to all time high in some of the northern states. Churu and Rajasthan recorded a high of 51 degrees Celsius. Over the weekend, temperatures crossed 49 degrees in other parts of Rajasthan. There has been reports of heavy rains districts of Uttarakhand. According to reports, many animals and a house has been washed away due. The district administration officials and SDRF team has been rushed to the affected region. Teams have also rushed to the villages to extend help to the needy. A cloudburst in the north Indian state of Uttarakhand has left one person dead and one person is also missing. The cloudburst hit the Chamoli and Almora districts of the district of the state. As soon as the news emerged, local administration officials, in fact, these have been reaching the spot. Several state disaster relief forces have been rushed to the nearby villages. Rescue and search operations are still underway. Iran has ruled out talks with US just hours after Mike Pompeo hinted in at talks in Switzerland. Earlier, US Secretary had confirmed that US is willing to hold talks but without any preconditions. Mike Pompeo is currently in Switzerland and has met with Swiss Foreign Minister Ignacio Cassis. The discussion focuses on Iran as an effort to ease rising tensions that have sparked fears of conflict. Although US says it won't relent in its campaign to pressure Iran, President Donald Trump has signaled a willingness to talk with Iran's leadership. Switzerland represents US interests in Iran and has been an intermediary between the two before. Israel attacked uh, Syrian military uh, positions in the country on Sunday, killing 13 soldiers and wounding seven others. Syria state-run media quoted an unnamed military official as saying the attack struck military positions in the southern region of Konitra, near the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. According to reports, the attack caused severe material damage. British Airways has resumed its flights to Pakistan after a gap of 10 years. Britain's flagship carrier has stopped its operations in Pakistan after the 2008 bombings at JW Marriott Hotel. 54 people had lost their lives and more than 250 were injured in the hotel blast, the capital city of Islamabad. Shortly after the blast, British Airways had suspended all its flights to the country on account of safety issues. But the airline is now scheduled to fly three times a week with its Boeing 787 Dreamliners to the Pakistani capital from Heathrow Airport. U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, in fact, has disclosed a new problem involving Boeing grounded 737 MAX. FAA said that more than 300 of 737 MAX and the prior in fact, the prior generation 737 may contain improperly manufactured parts. It has specified that 148 of the parts known as a leading edge flat track that were manufactured by a Boeing supplier are affected. Slats are movable panels that uh, extend along the wings front during takeoffs and landings to provide additional lift.
U.S. President Donald Trump and uh, his wife Melania Trump have left for U.K. security as has, has been in fact also been made tight ahead of his visit. Now, the police officers have been stationed near his residence, a full day of ceremony topped by magnificent banquet at Buckingham Palace will be hosted by Queen Elizabeth II for Trump and his family as well. London Mayor Sadiq Khan uh, recently said, and I quote here, I don't think we should be rolling out the red carpet, unquote, for US President Donald Trump, who will make a state visit to the UK today. Khan also stated that Londoners find Trump actions, uh, in fact, uh, abhorrent. He cited that uh, Trump's policies on ab abortion, immigration, climate, and the travel ban on Muslim-majority countries as examples. Trump uh, begins the visit to Britain on Monday, hosted by Queen Elizabeth II. Khan was also critical of Trump's decision to say that Conservative Party leadership uh, candidate Boris Johnson would make an, quote, excellent leader. U.S. President Donald Trump uh, delivered a speech at the Ford Theatre in Washington, D.C. Ford's uh, Theatre Society celebrated the legacy of President Abraham Lincoln and its annual gala on Sunday evening at Ford's Theatre. The gala performance was attended by First Lady Melania Trump and numerous other dignitaries. U.S. President Donald Trump received a special in-person prayer from a Virginia church on Sunday during a special day of prayer for the president and his family. The congregation at Mechlin Bible Church applauded at Trump's surprise appearance as Minister David Platt led a prayer in his honor. Evangelist Franklin Graham called for Sunday, June 2nd, to be a special day for prayer, a day to pray that God will give Trump strength and wisdom as he leads the U.S. The leader of Germany's centre-left Social Democrats, a junior member of Chancellor Angela Merkel's governing coalition, announced her uh, resignation on Sunday. The announcement comes after days of speculation over the fallout from the party's performance in the European Parliament election. The Social Democrats fell to third place behind Merkel's centre-right union bloc and the Greens in last month's EU elections. Andrea Nahels said that she wanted clarity after questions were raised about her ability to lead the party. The resignation cast fresh doubt over the durability of Germany's ruling coalition, which came close to falling apart last year. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has fired two of his prominent ministers ahead of general elections in September. Just days after Parliament voted to hold new elections, the Education and Justice Ministers have been dismissed from the interim government. Ministers have issued a statement saying they were being replaced and thanking the Israeli public but did not provide details of their dismissal. Hearing for WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange's detention by the Swedish agency will begin today in Stockholm. Swedish prosecutors in May had filed a request for the detention of Assange over allegations of rape. In 2010, two women had accused Assange of rape and sexual assault. Swedish agencies reopened the investigation into the case after Assange's asylum in Ecuadorian embassy was revoked. Google is experiencing high levels of congestion in the eastern U.S., which is affecting multiple services in Google Cloud, G Suite and YouTube. According to reports, Australians on the East Coast also experienced service outage issues. In an update to users, Google said that it was investigating reports of an issue with Gmail and would provide more information very shortly. Social media giant uh, Twitter has apologized for suspending accounts they, that were in fact critical of China. The crackdown took place uh, days before the politically sensitive 30th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square crackdown. 
but Twitter only acknowledged it after activists recently said that uh, hundreds of Twitter accounts uh, critical of the Communist Party were suspended. The apology itself came in the form of a statement with Twitter clarifying that it was a caught up in uh, an ongoing effort to clear up accounts that were in fact engaging in platform manipulation including spam and inauthentic behavior. Social media company Facebook is in talks with the U.S. Uh, regulator, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, over its plans for a digital currency. Regulator needs to understand whether Facebook's plans for digital coin would fall under the CFTC's scope in May. Facebook set up a financial technology company in Switzerland focusing on blockchain and payments as well as data analytics and investing. Thousands of Albanian opposition supporters took to the streets to demand new elections. This in the backdrop of repeated calls from Western powers for negotiations with the government. Protesters demanded resignation of Prime Minister Eri Rama and an interim cabinet to take the country to an early parliamentary election. At least seven police officers were injured in scattered violence during the protest. A march was held in Budapest protesting against a government plan seen as endangering academic freedom and autonomous scientific research in Hungary. Students, academics and critics of Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban took part in the protest. Government plans to strip the Hungarian Academy of Sciences of its network of research institutions in what members of the academy say amounts to the de facto nationalization of the academy's property. The government says its aim is to improve innovation in scientific research and to have publicly funded research projects create a direct economic profit. Thirty-three Russian drivers brave summer heat, mud and dust to join a unique tractor race in the southern Rostov region yesterday. In fact, uh, Vashilasev Mironovo, a driver from Moscow region, emerged as the Bison Tractor winner and received a brand new tractor. Workers from agricultural companies in Russia participated in the tractor racing competition every year. The competition is steadily evolving from a funny entertainment show to a serious competition now. Five thousand people gathered in Moscow's uh, Luz Nikki Park to begin a summer with an annual color run. Citizens were wearing masquerade costumes, covered five uh, kilometers in the park near Soviet Olympic Luz Nikki Stadium as volunteers threw colored powder on them. The heat failed to stop the participants even with the weather being warm and sunny. Now this is the seventh time the colorful event has taken place in the Russian capital.